This is Russ Anderson. I'm going to demonstrate the filtering modes of the stabilization system. So I'm opening up my shot and it is a car driving down a road and the camera is, is quite shaky. So I'm going to start up the tracking now. And the point of the filtered mode is to deal with shots like this where the camera is traveling through a scene. Now Synthize has a pegged mode where it's set up to watch an object that's going to stay in the field of view the entire time and you want to stabilize that particular object. But in the filtering mode, you're expecting for things to be moving throughout the scene continuously and there's no particular thing that you're going to stay focused on throughout the entire length of the shot. Now you can see in the background we've got uh, 3D saw running is after the track and when you can get it, the 3D solve makes for better data to drive the stabilization process. So we're doing that here. And as always, you normally we want to take a look at the tracking data once it's done to make sure that there aren't any trackers on the cars or, or whatever, um, just to verify that the tracking data is okay. But for this tutorial, we're going to move immediately in to the stabilizer and switch to the filtered stabilization mode. And the one important parameter that we have to adjust is the cutoff frequency. Basically, vibration above the cutoff frequency is removed and vibration below the cutoff is kept. Now, as you decrease the cutoff frequency, the amount of zoom that's going to be required is going to increase, which you know sacrifices some of the quality of the images. So you don't want to make it too low. Also, as the cutoff frequency gets very low, then basically it, it gets to a certain point of very much diminishing returns uh, unless the shot is extremely long. You can't really tell the difference between the different frequencies. So here now we'll, we'll hit the auto scale and now we have our basic stabilization set up and if we close up the panel the software is going to go and recompute the stabilization data uh, the actual images for all of the frames and you, know, you could play it now and see that I'm just turning off the actual trackers that were showing what the original shot was doing so you can just see the output. Um, the video capture software here doesn't let you really get a good idea of, of what this looks like. So if you look on the web, you can see the actual input and output uh, versions of the shot. Normally at this point I just go and save the process sequence out to disk and uh, that's what you have to look at on the web. Thanks a lot. Hope you enjoyed the show.